Hey, welcome to Antlock Games, where our board game playthroughs are always on paid and ad free. I'm your host, Francis. I'm Anthony. And today we're going to be taking you through the Taverns of Tiefenthal. Uh, so this is a uh, dice rolling action selecting worker placement game um, for two to four players uh, designed by Wolfgang Varsh mm. for North Star Games here in the States. Plays in about 60 minutes. All right. Join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome to the table. Welcome to Tiefenthal. The taverns of the, Tiefenthal. The two taverns of Tiefenthal. Yes, they're very <laughs> fledgling taverns at this time. They are very fledgling. So what is the tavern of Tiefenthal? So it is a... As you said, a dice rolling, but also dice drafting, but also dice drafting, drafting game. Uh, it's also a little bit of work placement, a <laughs> little bit of deck building. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So, a bit of everything. yeah. So we are competing tavern owners in mm -hmm. the town of Tiefenthal, looking to be the best of the best. Yes, yeah, so we yeah. want all the noble patrons. As it usually goes in games of. Of this type. I don't know why you built your tavern right next to mine. Well, because I figured not it's a good business choice. All your irate customers <laughs> will just come to my bar <laughs> and get what they actually want. So, take a look at the table. We'll show you the setup real quick, and uh, we'll jump right to it. It's a fairly straightforward game. Yeah. Um, but a lot of interesting and cool, unique choices. Mm -hmm. So, in the beginning of the game, you are in a bare bones tavern. Yes, very bare bones. Very bare bones. You have minimal employees. Each player starts with a deck of patrons. So just to, to show you what these decks are built of. So you're going to have seven patrons that are going to come in and uh, sit at your tables. You're also going to start with one brewer mm -hmm. to help you brew more beer, one server to help you with additional actions, and one empty table to help expand your bar. So you are going to shuffle these up, and on your turn, we're going to go through seven different phases worth yes. of activity. Running the bar is a lot of work. It is a lot of work for each of the eight rounds. Yes. Right? They so, go quickly. Yes, they do. <laughs> um, let's go over a little bit of the layout of the bar. Sure. And what that represents, and then you can talk about the people up top. Okay. And then I guess we'll get right to it. Sounds good. So here's the bar. Um, these boards are modular. They're almost like little puzzles you put yeah, together. Yeah, if you can see that or not. Um, because this game does have a, a, a good bit of customization that you can do mm -hmm. uh, with different modules. But this is the bare bones basic plain vanilla module. The top section is the area where you will be sitting your patrons. Uh, over on the left here is sort of the the server area where you'll be placing your servers if they come out into play. Down here you have your dishwasher where your dishwasher will do the dishwashing business. Uh, here you have the barrel where you'll be getting beer um, and your brewers who will be bringing extra beer. Mm -hmm. Over here you have your beer storage where you'll be able to you're able to keep at this point up to two extra barrels of beer. Um, here you have your bank where you'll be able to keep up to like two. Your cash box, right? Uh, well, this is your cash box. Above that, down here is kind of your bank, where you're, mm. your safe, rather, mm. where you're going to be keeping any excess cash you have, because you're only allowed to carry over what you can put in your safe. Um, this is like the till, where you actually like skim off the till yeah. <laughs> to get a little extra money to do what you got to do for the round. Uh, and over here is a monk, who's going to allow you to advance on the monastery track and mm -hmm. earn some of those extra bonus rewards as well. Um, you go ahead and talk about the, uh, the staff. Yeah, so we've got, um, we have staff here that we can buy for uh, for money that we make in our bar. And we also have uh, additional patrons that we can buy, or I'll say like lure in, lure in yeah. with uh, certain beer costs. So with the number of beer that we have, these are really the two currencies in the game, mm -hmm. is the beer and then the, I think they call them the th th Thaler. Thalers. Thalers. Uh, Thalers, yeah. So our money. We'll call it coins. So, <laughs> so we will, we will, we uh, will, Purchase staff or hire staff with coin, and we will try and lure pa uh, patrons with uh, beer. These are really interesting because when we actually acquire these patrons, they're not going to come right into our bar. Mm -hmm. They're actually going to go into our deck, and they're going to come into our deck face right. down. So if we're able to, to acquire one during a round, we know that most likely they'll be coming up pretty soon. That's right. Um, over here, we have, again, the monastery track, which is going to give us some extra bonuses as we move around it. And then here we have our round tracker, 
which is going to give us some bonuses as we progress through the night at the bar. Yep. So um, basically, <laughs> uh, yes, we have, um, well, we're, just make sure you're shuffled up. Yeah. Um, what we're going to have are, like I said, seven um, phases of each yeah. round. And some of these phases are simultaneous. Some of these are in turn order and that, that matters. But the first thing we do, and they all have a, a very unique name. We'll probably yeah. only use these <laughs> for the first round just so you know what they are. But the first one is called A New Evening in the Tavern. Mm -hmm. And that's where the, the round track is going yes. to advance. So Boop. We're actually going to stay here for the first round. Round one. So we're each going to collect a counter guest, which is going to sit up here at our counter mm -hmm. in the bar. And these are one-time use tokens. And we're going to get three of them though, for the game. And they can be used um, on either side. And the, the, the top side basically allows you to discard all cards in your bar and start over during the, um, during the can I take your order? Mm -hmm. Actually, guess arrive phase, yeah. rather. Um, and on this side, you can discard this token to advance one space on the monastery track. But they will hang out until we decide to use them. Uh, so that's the first phase. The second phase is called the guests arrive. And this is where all the magic happens. <laughs> so you're going to take your deck and you're going to reveal one card one at a time and then place it in its Ooh. respective place in your bar. I got a brewer. So a brewer goes down uh, down there. Uh, any guests will come and sit at one of your occupied tables. Nice. My server uh, my came brewer. up. All right. Yeah, my patron. You have patrons. Uh, another patron. Yeah, these guests are coming in. Hot and heavy, yeah, so that was quick. Once your available tables are filled, you stop drawing. Good done. Ooh, I got a table. Yeah, table cool, nice. so we can put extra tables down here, or over here, I should say. I mean, and this is like all well and good, but there's no way I'm getting like that many ones, I don't think. All right, Probably not. Cool. So that is the um, guests arrive. Oh. And the next phase is called Here Comes the Server. So here she goes. If you have a server, <laughs> which you do, you yeah. take one of your colored die for each server, Roll it, and that can be used to take actions this turn. Boop. So All that right. goes so down there. We go. So the next we, we're going to do is, can I take your order? So we're going to actually roll four of our white dice and place them on this. What? <laughs> on this coaster. Would you like some twos? <laughs> actually, yes. Uh, so we will each draw one or draft one die, and then we're going to pass the coaster to the other player. Um. Okay. There you go. All right. So wow, you, how do we roll exactly the same thing? I don't know. Oh, two twos and a four? Yes. Well, let's just keep drafting. All right, let's do this. So I'll take a two. Um, well, boo-hoo. Um, I guess I'll take another four. I can't do anything with a four. Mm, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well, you can't either, mm -mm. really. All right, fine. I'll just take that. All right, and then I guess I'll take a two. And I'll take a two as well. And then I, I get guess. the four. Another two. All right. All right. So that's the draft. Okay. So that's called. Weird. Can I take your order? And now we simultaneously <laughs> plan our action. So we can put our dice on anything with a matching pip count. So our patrons uh, have twos and ones. Yeah, and they'll be giving us money. So like I have, I can place a two, two. on here. So that patron will end up giving me two dollars. The rest are taking one. So my server did not bring out anything that these people wanted. Well, that's good. <laughs> that is not good. Um, yeah. So here on your cash box, you can put any pip count. Doesn't matter. Just yeah, to get a buck. That's what I'll have to do. Um, the monk needs a five, which I don't have. Some of these uh, spaces now it'll have a one x, meaning you can only put one die of that pip count on there and use that action once. Mm -hmm. Some will have three dots. So. For example, on the monk, I can put as many fives here as I want, and that'll move my marker as many times as dice I have. Not pip counts, just dice. Yeah. Uh, down here on the barrel of beer, I have a um, one time any face. So I'm going to put my four there to get a, a beer. Uh, one or a six on my brewer will get me another beer, and an extra brewer just gets you another beer. That's good. I didn't have a one or anything. I just am wasting these two fours. Two fours which you can't do anything with. Um, yeah, that's kind of rough. Yeah, it sucks in the beginning. Yeah, it's really tough. So now, in turn order, we're going to do what's called serve the guests. Yes. 
So you go and um, activate each of the dice that you've placed. Yeah, so this is um, a little bit of bookkeeping here. So uh, basically what we're going to do is as we use these, we're going to take them off. But I'm going to count my money first. Mm -hmm. So I have my patron that's giving me $2, plus I'm taking a little off the till for mm -hmm. a buck. Um, so I'll take these off, and I know I have $3 to spend. So I can look here at the offer and see what I want to purchase. Um, and I think I may hire this dishwasher, actually. Uh, cool. So he's going to come in again. He's going to go face down mm -hmm. into my deck right there. And then I've got one beer, <laughs> which I can't really do much with. <laughs> well, you get two. Uh, so I'm going to... Well, you do yeah, get I do one, get two, so you get two beers. But nobody wants two beers. They all want, like, can... lots. So I'm going to save those. I'm going to save two beers right Store there. Yep. That's it. And that's my, that is my action. That's strategy. your turn. So I'm also going to make $3 here. And hire myself a dishwasher. And I get one, two, three beers. Mm. Now with three beers, I can actually do a higher. Yeah. Uh, actually lower. So I'm going to bring this patron in to my tavern. Nice. For my three beers. Cool. So that ends that. These go back. Back goes back. Uh, so that was serving the guests, and that was closing time. Yep. Player one passes over to me. With this... Le nice, lovely cup. Yeah. In closing time, all the cards that you played go into the discard, which is just to the left of your draw pile. Yep. And you'll notice that I did put back my yellow die because that only comes out when you have the when server. You have the server. Out. Yep. Yeah. And we are on to That's it. round two. Ooh. Boom. So what do we get here? All right. So we have a choice. We all can right. either uh, receive one of these three dollar patrons, right. or a uh, bar back, so you can pick either this guy or that guy. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to take a bar back. Okay. I will take... Mm, yeah, he's pretty good. I'll take a bar back too. Mm -hmm. I don't have one, so... Okay. All right, guests arrive. All right. So now I know. Yeah, you know you're going to have some things <laughs> going on here. Ah, so this guy's coming out. Okay. Oh, and my dishwasher's coming out. Oh, yeah, short table. round. Yeah. I'm short done. round. Oh, Dr. All Jones. Right. What? Dr. Jones. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Somebody will get that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm first. No, um, not server. No, but I don't have a server, so I'm not drawing it, but that's it. So we are. Can I take your order? And I'm going to grab me a die here. All right, I'm going to grab this one. Mm. Mm. There's yours. Yeah, go. Mm. Fives and a bunch of twos. I'll take the five. So then you draw from here, I'll draw from here. Instead of us yeah, passing this back and forth. Yeah. Um, I'll take three. I'll take a two. Okay. And a two. All right. Okay. Cool. Actually, this is pretty good. Mm. So now we get to place our dice. Three. Two, two, and two. Wow, that was quick of you. Yep. Um, all right, well, he's definitely going to go out here. Wow, you got so many twos. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh what? Um, just so people understand what the dishwasher does, we didn't explain that. Mm -hmm. So what a dishwasher does is they allow you to take any one die you're placing and increase its pit value by one right. for, for each dishwasher that you have available.
Hmm. All right, let's do that. What'd you do? Are you all set? I just planned, yeah. I'm okay, good. so it's my turn, and I'll start with this guy, and I'll, I'll do is, um, I'll advance me one space on okay. the monk track, yeah. monastery track. Um, so now I've got enough here to get three, four, five, six, seven. Now, just because we place dice here doesn't mean you have to actually do this. If right. I change my mind right now, I can move a die somewhere else. It doesn't matter. That's all just planning. As long as you haven't used the spot Correct. already. Three, four, five, six, seven bucks, which is a ton of money, which allows me to hire one of these folks. But I'm going to spend four to get her for sure because um, I need more servers because I don't have any. Now, at least me three, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and with that last three, I'm going to hire another bar back. Nice. Boom. That gives me one extra that I'll put in my safe. That's good. Mm -hmm. okay. And, uh, that's it. And I get one beer because of him, my bar back and I'll okay. store that. Nice. Um, all right. I'm going to also go up one on the monastery track. Mm -hmm. I will... Get two dollars, and I'm thinking if I want to, I'm just gonna save that two bucks. Okay. Um, now for my beer, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Spend all of that to get this guy. All right, so you're bringing the big patron. Yes. So we replace that one with, ooh, look at this guy. Mm. He gives you a table. Some of them have instant yeah, bonuses. awards. Yeah, as soon as you get them. Okay, cool. Um, but they require a lot of beer. So. Yeah, they do. All right, let's do some cleanup here. You are going to be player one. Okay. And we are to a new evening. All right. Uh, All right, so okay. what do we get? So we have a dishwasher. You can have a dishwasher or you can get one of these to use for the round. A server. Oh, yeah, one of these for the round. Yes. Not a server. Oh, yeah, not that's, an actual server card. That's a, yeah. that's a good one. <laughs> it's really good. I'm going to take the die. So I'm going to roll, um, roll it now. Get a six. I'll take that. I'll take the, I'll take the die as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good Dishwasher's one. okay. He's okay. Not... I have one. It's like you just want to be careful of what. You know, clogging up your hand. Too. Yeah. All right, so it's guests okay. arrive, so we go yep. back. So we're gonna we're getting close to the end of our stack. So you're gonna again go I always go until first. the tables are full. Yeah. So I got my here he is my bar back, my server, which is great. Um, my first guest. Oh, and another server. So I'm actually gonna get two of those. Now you can only ever have. Are you three kidding dice. me? Uh, Once you uh, fill up, you run out of cards. Uh, if you don't, if you run out of cards before you fill up your tables, you shuffle the stack like we just did. Yeah. Uh, you filled right up. I did. That's uh, garbage. That's brutal. All right. Well, maybe this will be a big money round. Let's hope so. Let's see. Um, let me finish filling my tables. Uh, ooh, look at this guy. These guys want to keep rolling the beer in. Okay. Cool. So we are done with okay. uh, that. Now we're yes. going to do here comes a server. So I get two more blue dice. Fancy. It's going to be yeah. massive. That's good. Um, hey, you can only ever have a max of three. So yep. you, you can have as many servers as you want, but only you're only going to get three dice. dice. All right, so let's roll them up. Oh. All right, so I'll Terrible. take. I'll definitely take that. There you go. <laughs> I'll take the one. Okay. And there's mine to you. So I will uh, take from here. Oh, I'll take a three. Yeah, would you like a three, a three, or a three? Take a three. Take the two. Um, one, one. I guess I'll take the one. No, I'll take the I'll take the three. All right, great. All right. So let's place a whole lot of dice. Yes. All right, one. Well, you have a ton. One. Uh, one. Yeah, but they're not great. And now you can place as many ones and sixes here as you want. One, a six. I'll put a three here. I'll put a five here. And I'll put a three here. There we go. Hmm. That actually worked out. Well, la-dee-da. Hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, no, that's good. That's great, actually. Do that. Let's do that. And then um, I guess I lose out on this. I can't really do anything with this guy. So okay, cool. So oh, I'm you're up first, one. Yeah, right? You get to go first. All right, so I'm gonna do my money action first. Mm -hmm. So I get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm. I'm gonna buy a noble. So the first noble costs nine. Oh yeah, that's right. Beers. No beers. Yeah, you can't buy. Oh, I can't cash. buy. Oh, I was looking at her. At her cash value. Her victory point. She doesn't have another victory yeah. point. Can, can I just you buy can cash? You buy nobles, but for beer. Yeah, you. that is right. You can buy them only for so beer. All you can do is... Um, or you can upgrade, actually. I know. Maybe that's what I'll do. That'll instead. get you your noble for free. That, I think that's what in my mind what I was thinking of doing. So I will upgrade. What can I upgrade for for Your nine. cash box is 10. These are both 9. Yeah, my cash box is 10. I think I'm going to upgrade the cash box because then that'll actually give me $3 when I use my yeah, cash box. See, it, it upgrades to like not just a chest. Yeah. It's like a legitimate actual cash, register. Kind of cash register. So your noble goes um, on top of your deck. So let me just make sure I spent 9. Mm -hmm. 9 or 10. It's 10. It was it the full 10. 10. Okay, yep. full 10. That's so I'm going to get money. rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Done. Take my noble into my stack. Actually, that goes there onto my stack. Um, and then I just have one beer. So okay. that's it. Um, I've got one, two, three, four dollars, which really doesn't let me buy much of anything I want. What do you have? Four bucks. Hmm. You could upgrade that if you got rid of your servants. One of them. No, one Two of them would bring it to. I'd have to yeah. get rid of both of them. Um, I think. Hmm. So here's the here's the kicker. If you have, like, the upgrade costs of certain areas, those employees right. can be discarded from your hand from every like not discarded but like removed from your bar. Um, to get a discount on that upgrade. So yes, for, for $12, I can upgrade the server section. Mm -hmm. But if I have servers out, I can get rid of two of them at $4 each right. to bring the cost of upgrade down to $4, which yes. would be one, two, three, four. Yeah. And that actually That's lets me upgrade do. that. Yeah. yeah. So now I get a permanent server. Right. Every round. Yep. And I get a noble card just for upgrading. Mm -hmm. Every time you upgrade, you get a noble card. Yeah. Uh, so that takes care of that. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six beer. Nice. What are you going to get? Oh, well, I have enough for, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. Will get me him. Okay. So this guy gives me a dishwasher automatic. Crazy. Okay. Oh, there's another guy. All right, so these get discarded. And last yeah. one is move my monastery up. up one. And that gives you another beer, actually. Beer. Another bar back. What? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. All right. Nice. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So the play passes. We discard all of our cards. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, a new evening. A new evening. So we're going to get another one, right, of, these another one of these counter guests. Counter folk. All right. <laughs> They're just like miserable I'll together. Flip her over so, that... <laughs> so she's different? It's a, yeah, it's like a guy. Thing. Oh, look. Yeah, they all. They're such a, uh, a miserable pair. Because everybody who just sits <laughs> in my tavern looks angry. <laughs> They're angry. Sullen. Uh, okay. They're like, I don't want that. Um, <laughs> that, <is>. that apple <laughs> that you're cutting. He's not happy with that at yeah. all. All right, cool. So guests arrive. Let's start bringing them in. Okay. All right, so we've got oh, yes, my beer name. and dishes being washed and guests. Oh, yes, oh, the guests good. are coming. Oh, a noble. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I had one. Wow, that filled too. my bar up really fast. Yep, me too. So Oops. one rule of the nobles is if you have multiple nobles that come out, they only stay at one table, and they yeah. will stack. Hmm. Okay, so... Servers? I, I do get one automatic, yeah. which is great. And now... All the way. 
this. Roll them up. Okay. Perfect. I never get what I need. Okay, I'll put mine up here. So I will take the two. I'll put mine down here so you mm -hmm. can see it. I don't know what I want. This is not great for me. So I'll just do this guy. So I take okay. them down here, you take them up there. Yeah. I'll take a three. Um, You take from up here, oh, I take I them down here. Oh, sorry. Five. Nothing about it. They're both fives exactly and fours. Same, yeah. Well, you could take <laughs> I could, a exactly. five now. Right. We'd be stuck. Or a four now, and, and it would be different. Yeah, I'll take a five. And then, and then we, get, then we ended up with okay. the fours. So, all right. Okay. Oof. This is going to be uneventful. Yeah, this could have been better. So, Ooh. he'll get that. You'll get that. And you'll get that. Three and a two. So, that's five bucks. Six dollars. Seven dollars. Mm. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Let me do that instead. One, two, three, four. Mm. That's not even worth it. No? Mm -mm. No, it's actually not worth it. Five, six, seven. That's kind of worth it. Hmm. You got to figure it out? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure you were done. Yeah, I'm good. So I'm going to move my monk. Let's start okay. with that. Get him up one. All right. And I'm going to discard this guy and move my monk up again. Okay. And that's going to let me get rid of somebody. Yes. So I'm going to first collect my dollar from this guy, uh -huh. one dollar, and he's going out of the game. Okay. Because that's what that move does. It lets yeah. you... Helps you thin your deck. Yeah. yeah. You're not here anymore. You're not <laughs> welcome in my bar. I took your money and I'm out. So it's, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dollars I generate this round. Okay. Um, and I will spend five of it mm -hmm. on this table and two of it I'll store. Great. And that's it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to get $3. Hmm. And with that, I think I'm going to buy this guy, dishwasher. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have five, five, five right here. So I'm going to go about three times. Boom. One, two, three. Um, do I get that? You get a bar back? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And you can kick I'm one of gonna, your patrons. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to kick this guy out. Okay. Bye. See ya. Um, and then I'm going to spend both of these actually. Oh, wow. To bump this up twice. And that's going to give me a dishwasher. A dishwasher. Okay. So many dishwashers. All right. That's it. That's it. Closing time. Uh, semi-sonic here. Yes. So that's it. Move us up. What do we have? All right. So you can get a chair, like a table, table, table? chair combo, um, or a brewer. I'll take the brewer. I will also take the brewer. <laughs> <laughs> I need beer. Okay. Okay. That's it? Yes. All right. Let's bring in the guests. So we know we've got our brewer. Yep. We got my table. Got my dishwasher. Wow. Yeah, I've got all my like employees a ton of staff are finally right coming now. in. That's yeah. great. Um, We're gonna the, have like all employees and no before the guests arrive right? this time. Oh man, I've got some tables to fill. What? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Holy Bring moly! It. Look at this bar night. What? <laughs> Look at all my dishwashers. <laughs> that's like ridiculous. Okay. I guess they're expecting... See, I told you because all of my patrons came out yeah, first this did. time in my shuffle. They were expecting uh, a lot of food tonight. I guess this is ridiculous. Bar back. Uh, there we go. So we got a pretty good, pretty good night at the uh, my at tavern, the tavern? At, in Tiefenthal. At Tiefenthal. Well, my Tiefenthal tavern is doing pretty well. That's good myself all right 
Okay. <laughs> so uh, I will get this. I will get this because of my permanent, oh, permanent server. Stuff. Okay. Boom. Just three. Roll this up. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. my wow. Okay. Yikes. Um, All right. So put yours on your I'll bar. Scoot this yeah, so I'll draw, I'll take a three. Holy moly. Um, this is all pretty good. I'll take a, a one. Okay. Um, take I'll take a five. Six. Mm. All right, I'll take a one. And I'll take another six. I'll take a three. And I'll take another six. <laughs> take a lot of sixes. Wow. Okay. So All right. Let's... Interesting. Very interesting. So I'll put a three here. Now I have a plus one, which we'll use here to bring out, make that a two. So it's five bucks. Hmm. <laughs> this is weird. Hmm. All right. Yeah, it's nuts. Okay. You good? Yeah. All right, activate. Activate. Um. All right. So I'm gonna do some weird stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go one beer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm. And I'm going to get a noble. Okay. There you <laughs> go. That's a lot of beer. With that much beer. Um, and then, so these are all spent. This goes down. Whoops. Mm -hmm. These are done. Um, I'm going to get $3. Mm -hmm. And with my $3, I'm going to buy a dishwasher. Okay. And then I'm going to use. Put this in your deck, actually. Oh, yeah, my. Sorry. And then I'm going to use my three dishwashers that are out to pay for this upgrade mm. for free. Get rid of them all. Yeah. Get rid of all of them. Get their value. Yeah. I could have also easily kept my $3, mm -hmm. not bought a dishwasher, and then paid $3 and kept one of these dishwashers, but whatever. It's a weird market. So. <laughs> it is. Oops. And that. Right. So they go back to the pile. It. Yeah. Boop. All right, so then I'm going to go up twice on the monastery track, which will earn me a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. One of my old dishwashers. One of your old dishwashers. <laughs> Come work for me. Uh, I've got three, four, five, six, seven gold, which I will use to... Ooh, Actually, if I get rid of these two, mm -hmm. actually, no, I'm going to get rid of my dishwasher to bring this down to six gold. Okay. I'll only spend one of these mm -hmm. to flip that. Mm -hmm. good, Permanent good dishwasher, call, yeah. I'll take a noble. Um, so that was all my gold. Mm -hmm. Done, done, done. I've got one two, three, four beers, plus one is five beers, and I will take this guy. Nice. Well done. Yeah, so it was one, two, three, four, five. That's zero. Done. Okay. Closing time. Wow. That was a big night at that the taverns. Was a big night. Take everybody in. <laughs> All right, so I get player one now. There you go. And we are going to move up again. We get the last Another. of the counter... Counter folks. Counter folk. Mm. And then we bring them in. Okay. I have like all nobles. Yeah, I know. This time. Oops, my dishwasher's not eating. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to come eat first, so. All right, nobles are going to stack again. Yep. Wow, I've got all my dishwashers coming uh, out. Ah, yeah, it stinks. Oof. I knew that was going to happen, though. Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how the roll goes. Okay. You get uh, your server. Yeah, I do every time. 
to six. Okay. All right, I'll take the five. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at what you have. Um, I'll take the one, actually. I'll take... You can just take from there. Okay, I'll take a five. Take a five. I'll take a five. <laughs> and a four, a four, or a four. And a four. Yeah. Okay. And we took from the wrong thing, but they were both four. They were both so four, so it didn't yeah. matter. That's all right. Five. Oof. Five. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to put that here instead. I'm going to bump that up to a three because I can bump at least three of these up. Hmm, okay. I have one more pip. I'm going to bump that up to a five. Put it on him. All right. Yeah. My turn. So I'm going to get five, six, seven, eight, nine gold. Zero. And I'm going to upgrade this barrel. Nice. To now produce two beers when okay. I use it. And I get a noble for that. And I'm going to go one, two beers. I'll just store them and move my monastery up twice and get another noble. Okay, good job. And it's your turn. Okay, I will get one beer mm -hmm. here. I'm gonna do five, six, seven, eight mm -hmm. dollars. I'm gonna hire two of these ladies. Mm, you want some extra dice, huh? Yeah. Um, so that's that. And then I'm using my dishwasher mm -hmm. to bip Bump this up to a five. Okay. And go up once. Good stuff. Okay. Closing time. This goes to you. Oops. Oh, okay. All right. What's the next? All right. You can have one of these for the round, or you can get a bar, bar back. back. I'll take one of these for the round. Me too. <laughs> For three. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Let's bring, bring in the guests. People. I know I'm getting those. All right. Wow. That was a nothing burger. Wow. So I'm going to go ahead and use my counter mm -hmm. to wipe every card. Oh, okay. And start over. That's what she lets you do. Yeah. So that gives me one card left, and it brings out my. Because she's back. so miserable. She's like, yes. I'm so sad. She's clearing that one. Like, everyone's like, this place is like a. I'm out. Buzzkill. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. Ugh, gross, I dude. To, I had to redeem that. All that right. would have been a really bad round for me. All right, so let's see where we are. Ugh. Hmm. Come on, stop. Okay. Not the worst. Not the worst. <sighs> Filled my tables. Not great. This is gonna be a short one. Okay. Um. All right. You're here, aren't you? Am I? Are you sure? I just took from here. Oh, yeah, so you take from there. 
Five. Not that it matters because again we three. end up rolling like the same yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, I've got like so many dice. It's crazy. Um, yikes. Oh. What? I forgot to take my blue die for her. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because you already had your extra. Yeah, because I got an extra. I got extra, extra this round. Extra, extra. Um, let's see. Two, three. One plus one is two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Put two here. And we'll get some beer. Hmm. Okay. I'm all set. It's your turn. Um. Is it my turn? Weren't we supposed to switch this? Did we switch this? I feel like it was my What's turn. This? You, me, you, me, you, me, you. Oh, it is me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay. So, I want to start by upgrading this. Mm. So, I'm going to spend... Now, I've got a lot of money. I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight mm -hmm. to spend. Um, so, I could... Theoretically, upgrade this for eight minus one mm -hmm. server. So I think I'll do that. Okay. So that'll get me a noble. Thank you. No, he goes in the top. Oh, yeah, of your he goes file. top. Yeah. All right. And that goes so she out. goes out. Um. So I think those are done. And then I upgrade this guy twice, so I get another noble. Oh. Okay. There you go. And I could push that up one more time. That gives me the uh, waitress, server, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Okay, there you go. Those. And a beer. Um, and one beer, which I'll store. Right okay. There. Okay. So I'm going to get three, four, five, six, seven dollars, which I'll use to upgrade my barrel mm, storage all the upgrades yep so i will get another noble for that um and then i've got one two three four five six beers and i will spend four of them one two three four to just get this guy who pushes me up one on the monk track okay And I get two more bumps on the monk track from that. Ah, okay. One, two. One, two. Would you like to spend another? Three. Okay. So I'm going to get a waitress and a brewer. Yeah, for passing this for and passing then. passing that and that. Yep. Boom. That's okay. it. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Closing time for the Closing last time. round. Okay. Whew, up. All right. So we get one free upgrade, but we don't get the noble right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll take the cash register. He would give me two beers. He mm -hmm. gives you two beers. Upgrade this guy, my monk. Yeah, gives you two oh, spots. Monk. monk guy. Two spots on the monk track. Yeah. All, all right. right. So he becomes a cardinal, see that? He does. Yeah. Uh, all right. So much happy. So. He's not any happier, actually. No, they're just these people in this yeah. tavern just they're aren't just happy. So miserable. All Oops. right. So let's see if we can get some some patrons in this time. Come on. <sighs> Give me a table. I know I have. Oh, yes. that's terrible. Thankfully. Terrible. Terrible last round. Oh, yeah, they just, want, they just wanted to come sit down. Um, all right, so grab your two yeah. dice right That's away. Right, yeah. 
for the last round. Okay. Cool. All right, and roll up the white dice. Okay, here we yeah, go. Take that. So what do I want here? Hmm. You took yours already? Yeah. I'll take the take the six. Yeah, I don't know. This is the one. Okay. Number four. Three. I'm Melissa Fours again. Three fours. All right. So it is my turn. Yes. Well, we're going to place, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eek. Did I up? We I did upgrade him, my dishwasher. So did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can actually. I can yeah, actually that's use a good that. call. Yeah, just don't forget. Yeah, <laughs> plus one. He's like so just sits there like so benign. Five, you know what I mean? Six, seven. Yeah, I know that's perfect. That's yeah, actually, actually really great. good. Three I'm six. This. I'm just gonna do this and then you can go. Um Yeah, everything else is like Things like it's the last round, so not like a lot of the beers and stuff. Beers. Alright, watch. Unless you can. Yeah. So <laughs> let me see. What I'm you gonna have? go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beers and buy. Ah. A noble. Nice. So that's, that's all good. of my beer just went out the door. That's good. I've got six bucks left, which I'll just simply upgrade my safe, which will get me another noble. Done. That's really good. Well played. Hmm. You see what I'm going to do? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said, hmm, because you were like, good idea. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is like just kind of crappy. Okay, well, I'll start by doing this. I'm going to do five, five, and five, which will push me up here. Um, I'm just trying to think if it makes more sense. Actually, it probably... Mm. It's like kind of six one. Here's what I'm thinking, right? I can go two steps on the monk track mm -hmm. for each of these. So I can get up to here and get a noble. For two of which those Which is dice. awesome. What? For just for two. Three. You get two each. One, two. Oh, one, you're two, back there. I, two. I know. I thought man, I was yeah. you too, but I'm not. So okay. Yeah. That'll I could do noble. that. Or I could put my five here, mm -hmm. get five bucks, and then get like three bucks for mm -hmm. putting something here and upgrade this. And get a noble that way. You could do that and too. And that saves me a die. But I can't do anything with that less like leftover die, mm. really. So it's kind of yeah, like... Yeah, you can. Because you use that die to go here for three bucks and buy this guy who's worth one point. Oh, the, yeah, he's worth one. Yeah. Hey, otherwise... Well, no, because I'd be going here to get the money to upgrade that. I'd be oh, you're already it's spending. It's a one-timer. Yeah. You, and you have one left over. Yeah. You know okay, I mean? yeah, that makes so sense. Like, you meh. can't do that. I mean, I could bring it down here to get a beer, but it's like the beer. Um, well, actually, I have one, two, three. That gives you a point. So it's again, it's kind of like way. six of one. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'll just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get a noble. Mm -hmm. That's my cardinal guy. He comes over here. And then one, two, three, 
for five beers. Um, can only afford. Can only afford that guy. That so I'll guy. just spend these here mm -hmm. and get that guy. But at least he's worth points. So. Yep. So that's Something. the end. That's the end. That's it. That's all yep. she wrote. And the scoring is quite simple. Yeah, it is. We quite count literally cards. just count points <laughs> in in your cards. Yeah. Right? So any card that has victory points on it, you just put them in a separate pile. Yeah, and that's just going to be basically these guys. Yeah, your starter cards are obviously not, yeah. Not worth anything. Okay, one, two. All right, here we go. That's crazy. Make sure this is ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you count? Uh, the singles? Two, three, four. Three, one, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a pile of ten. Wow, that's crazy. Two, you do amazing. Four, six, eight. Oh, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two. So I got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, two. Wow, it's seventy four. Oh, good yeah. job. Good yeah, job. Not bad. All right, let's go talk about it. All right, there you have it. That was module one. You kicked me out of Tiefenthal. <laughs> the basic <laughs> caverns of Tiefenthal. Yes. Yes. Plain vanilla. There's a lot of modules there are. that you can play with this game. Exactly. So we were going to go into all of them, but I think this is kind of one of those things where it's it's unique to discover. Yes. And add yeah. on the, the modules one at a time because mm -hmm. they do kind of ramp up the complexity. Yeah. Um, and there's five modules in total, so you'll add four more to it and mm -hmm. it'll it'll sort of shake up and adds a little bit more variety to um to the game itself Kinda add more goals and stuff yeah so you're adding schnapps yeah. which is another yeah. liquor uh instead of just beer Sh and then you'll, schnapps, schnapps yeah. and you'll have entertainers come in and they'll give you additional bonuses for mm -hmm. the schnapps you'll have um one where your bartender now has a reputation track that you're going to go right. up and get more points that way um, and you'll have additional guest cards that will boost the the rep, um, and then you'll have one where you actually have like a log, a guest book, right? Where you're trying to get collect signatures, and that'll give you additional bonus. So there's like a whole lot more meat to this, like but we, more ways to get points. Correct, and and to get bonuses and yeah. to get more nobles into your bar and all that good stuff. But um, at the end of the day, this is like, I think this is the easiest way to showcase, right, the basics of what this game is, and give exactly. you. A, a good at least fundamental understanding of what right. this game has to offer and if it's something that like if you like the core mechanics then mm. it's a no-brainer to say yeah yeah you know what I'm gonna I actually like this I'm gonna pick that up because right. it's, it's it seems like it's light enough um, in this current form I want a little more meat you know you can add mm. some of those those uh, um, modules on here. yes for sure um, so what did you think of this one? Uh, we, we actually got <laughs> we, this this a was while one of ago. our like <sighs> games we've had around for I mm -hmm. think since 2019 yeah and just never got around to filming it um so I'm curious to see if you enjoyed it as much as you did when we first bought it I did I do yeah. I like this one I, I like it because I think it's it's thematic mm -hmm. it's highly thematic um I think it's light enough that I'm not really having to uh crunch my brain too much right yeah and um it's it's neat enough that I kind of feel I get I feel like I'm kind of working my staff and using them to sort of leverage getting enough goods to my guests and yeah. upgrade my bar and all that stuff. I like I do kind of like the way the game flows. Okay, yeah. And I like the art. I think the art's really cool. Yeah, I think the art's really neat. Um, I do like the modular board. I like the fact that you're you're kind of I mean you're definitely building an engine here, mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of do it differently every time. I know other times we've played like I've really tried to build out like. A certain part of like the you know try to go all beer you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. try to ramp up that way um, this time I just kind of I was trying to go like up this like monastery track or whatever um, but uh, I don't know for me the, the I would say the one the kind of the thing that kind of like makes me the it's like I wish number one I wish that there was like a player aid yeah of some kind um, it's a little fiddly 
for me personally, mm-hmm. just because again, it's it's mathy without have not that it's complicated math. You're literally just adding up what you have and then spending it on new stuff and bringing that stuff in. Mm-hmm. Um, but for some reason, there's just something about it that's like I have to keep track of like. Okay, I pulled these dice off already, so I've activated that action. I can't use it again, but there's mm-hmm. nothing there to indicate that I haven't used it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that piece might get confusing, I think, for, for some people. But that being said, it's extremely accessible and it plays really fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that we actually played this at a con you did. when we first picked it up. We did. Um, and we had a ton of fun with it because it was one of those ones that we just learned really quickly played it with yeah. a couple of people and um, and had a really good time kind of building out um, building out you know your taverns and stuff uh, so so that was cool I yeah. did enjoy it I enjoyed that aspect of it yeah it's definitely a lighter game than it seems yeah yeah it definitely is and that's where I think like where I'm mentioning like the fiddliness kind of comes in mm. when you're reading the rule book and you're getting this thing set up and you're trying to explain like the, you can upgrade and then you can buy these cards and you can do all these different things. It sounds like a lot, mm-hmm. but then once you get into actually play it, it's not that much at all. It's, you know yeah, I mean? it's really not. So, it's not like you, you have money yeah. to buy, to hire people or right. buy a table. And you have and you beer, generate beer to bring in to new bring guests patrons. into exactly. your deck, right? Yeah. So like that's literally it. Yes. Um, and it's just a matter of deciding how to spend your dice, mm-hmm. and when to do the upgrades if you can, and which yeah. things to upgrade first. Yeah, and and how to mitigate, too. So, yeah. and again, how to, to manage that where, like, once you're getting towards the end of the game, how do I get rid of some of these cards, or maybe how do I get some of these last few up, up you know upgrades that I need, mm-hmm. um, you know, before kind of time runs out, and time runs out really quickly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks like, a, I mean, the art, to me, I'm, like, looking at it, I, mm-hmm. to me, it just feels like you're running a, a, a fantasy dwarven bar. I know. That's what... So I guess that's, like, why, it's almost like if, if you like were. like, your top ten themes. Well, it, it's almost like if you were to play, a like, be a, a bar owner mm-hmm. in Caverna, the world of Caverna. Right. Yeah, that is true. That's yeah. what I would think uh-huh. that this, because that's, like, you know, that's, like, the dwarven Right, you know, game uh, Uwe type game. This art kind of is Uwe esque. Rosenberg esque. Yeah. So to me, it feels like playing a bar owner game in Caverna. Yeah, it's in very the world cool. Of yeah, it's so, very I don't know, that's why I guess that's why I kind of like I like it more yeah. because of that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and, and it's on the surface, it's a simple game, and mm-hmm. I think um, if you want a meteor experience, you're going to want to play with all the models. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Um, because the, the play vanilla version is really simple. Mm-hmm. Um, and this might probably feel stale after a few plays. Yeah. Um, because it's, you know, how much variety is there in this? Right. Not as much as you would but want. But that's why I appreciate the modules because yes. it is something that you can, um, create a different experience every time. Mm-hmm. Um, but get, you can get introduced to the game in a very simple way like this we just showed yeah, you. I agree. Yeah. And um, what do you think about component wise? Like quality oh, of cards? Oh, yeah, I, do, board, I, do know, I like, like I said, I love the art. I think mm-hmm. it's cool. Everybody looks very miserable, but yeah. I think that, that is kind of like par for the course. It's going it's for this, it. like, I, I picture it too as like this kind of dark, like dingy, yeah. old like tavern that you'd come across like in some kind of like lore. And, and that comes across, which is really neat. Um, I mean, you've got like, it's like standard cubes, you mm-hmm. know, the dice, um, and again, this is just me being like picky, but the dice are very light. They're wooden, yeah. They're wooden dice. Um, so like on our table, it, they like bounce all over the they place. They do, they do. Um, so it would be, I think it would be like a, a more immersive experience with like heavier, like, you know, dice and like heavier kind of like tokens and stuff. But that's not exactly what this game set out to deliver. Mm-hmm. I don't think this is like a, again an accessible game, um, and uh, and it does what it what it's uh, set out to do. So I will say I do appreciate like the the fact that the the board is modular, um, that it is. Of like a good quality, like this it's is thick card stock. Thick yeah, card this stock. is really good. I, I'm not worried about you have puzzle pieces. Sometimes that like, you know you get worried about these like kind of get being flimsy. Yeah, these aren't. I don't at worry all. about you know you're flipping these. You're you're playing. It's not. I don't foresee this. Yeah, this is really apart, it's really so. good thick card stock. Yeah, so. so that I do appreciate. It, yeah, too. it had to be. Otherwise, yeah. this would have just folded yep. up and 
and probably torn yeah. already. Yeah. <laughs> so no, it's good. It's it's solid. The game yeah. is definitely well produced. So yeah, very much so. All right. Anything else? No, I think that's it. I'm awesome. glad we got. I'm so glad we got this one to the yeah. table. Yeah. Well, we yeah. have quite yeah. a list of games we want to get to the table, and this just happened to be one of them. So. Um, yeah. So there you go. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And the bell. And hit the bell. <laughs> Wherever it is. It's somewhere out there. <laughs> but that's all right. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.